Welcome to our Python programming tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many data visualization enthusiasts encounter. Our viewer asks, how do I get the positions of the XTIC major labels in matplotlib? Let's break down the problem. The viewer is trying to retrieve the positions of the XTIC labels, but is getting unexpected results. Specifically, the values returned from label.getPosition are all zeros, which doesn't make sense. So, what could be going wrong? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. To get the positions of the X tick major labels in matplotlib, we first need to understand how tick labels are positioned. The method label.getPosition returns the position of the label in figure coordinates, which may not be what we expect. Let's start by plotting a simple function using matplotlib. In our code, we define a function and create a plot with two sets of data points. This will help us visualize the X tick labels. After plotting, we can retrieve the X tick positions using x.getXTicks. This method gives us the actual data values corresponding to the ticks on the X axis. To get the pixel positions of the X tick labels, we need to transform the data coordinates to display coordinates. We can achieve this using the AX trans data transformation. Finally, we can print the pixel positions of the X tick labels. This will give us the exact locations in pixel units, which can be useful for further customization or annotations. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get the position of X tick labels in matplotlib, you can adapt a solution that retrieves the bounding box of each label. First, import the necessary libraries and define your function. Next, create your data points and plot them using matplotlib. After plotting, you can draw the canvas to ensure all elements are rendered. To retrieve the X tick labels, use the get X tick labels method. Then iterate through these labels to print their text and bounding box positions. Finally, you can print the X tick positions using get X ticks. This will give you the numerical positions of the ticks on the X axis. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.